Uh, yo, what is going on, Company Gang? It's uh, Company, and uh, today I just wanted to uh, give a brief um, update on my, I guess, current situation. And um, yeah, not really much to say except, uh, you know, I've been quite depressed these past few days, well, week actually. Um, and I've basically done jack shit. All of my routines have been temporarily, temporarily put on hold. Um, I've been really doing much except, um, watching stuff online like TV or anime and haven't been doing jack shit, uh, playing stupid gotcha game that I've been playing for the past year got back into it again after deleting it and um that's because um yeah i've been quite depressed i haven't been taking my supplements like i should be as well um just everything has been basically fallen off the wagon and have been um you know aldaring these uh yeah these past week basically and you know, also, if you guys haven't noticed, um, I've kind of disappeared from uh, Discord and basically anywhere. I haven't been checking my email, I haven't been doing anything, and that's because, like I said, I've been ultra depressed. And, um, you know, a lot of that was basically, you know, I guess, um, I don't know if you can call this a depressive episode or not. But, um, yeah, I just literally have lost all will to do anything, all motivation. I'm not going to say will to live, but, um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want this to become one of those channels where I just whine and moan and complain about being depressed all the time, but. I don't intend to be like this forever. I obviously want to get back to my usual routines and be my old self, I guess. But it's just really hard when, you know, um, what I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with. When I'm dealing what I'm dealing with. When I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with. Does it make any sense? I have no clue. Um, but... Yeah, um, this all started when I hurt my hand and was kind of forced not to do anything. But recently it's just become even worse where various parts of my body are starting to hurt. Like my knees have become all locked up and painful. And like my joints and my knees are becoming all like inflamed, I guess. And, you know, aside from my wrist hurting, there's that. And recently what's really bothered me is my my lower back has started to hurt and um the reason this bothers me so much is because um i think i might have mentioned it before but a while back i fractured um my one of my vertebrae in my middle like my thoracic spine and um during that period of time well, i got to hold my left hand because my right hand still kind of um, during that period of time, um, I probably experienced some of the worst depression I ever experienced. And because I basically couldn't do anything at that time, um, without feeling this really sharp pinching pain in my back. So I basically had to, you know, adopt these really weird postures. And if my back wasn't aching, if I moved too far one way, or if like I slouched over too far, or I extended my back too far like i mean like kind of like this oh fuck my wrist um or if i like you know basically went either way i'd feel a sharp pinching pain or i'd feel these weird intermittent like electric like prickling like stinging sort of like nerve pain that would like kind of radiate from the middle of my back to like the entire like back like like my entire back basically even to like my chest sometimes and 
it's just a really unsettling feeling because you can basically feel that it's your spine that's being fucked up. And during this period, I because my mobility was so drastically like reduced, I couldn't work out, I couldn't go to the gym. Um, I basically, um, yeah, couldn't do shit. And that's what just made me really depressed um, and also traumatized because it's obviously not as bad as that now, but just any pain in my back um, that's chronic and, and chronic in nature uh, kind of just reminds me of that time and makes me extremely fearful and paranoid that I might, my back might end up like that or even worse because it could definitely be way worse. Like, so I don't know, but that was pretty bad. And so, yeah, um, this, what I'm going through right now just reminds me of that period of my life. And it's just making me really depressed and shitty feeling so yeah um and that's why i haven't been on discord talking to people is because um, i'm just mentally not in a good place and um you know talking to people for me at least is inherently just slightly stressful because you know i feel like i have to because i'm just not one of those people that make sense when they talk I kind of have to always make sure what I'm saying is not entirely retarded or it's you know a lot of oh my god a lot of uh sorry my, I might have to keep like, my arms or my right hand um I want to hold it with my right hand but like I still can because of my wrist but so I have to yeah, I hold the phone with my left hand. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just inherently one of those people who, um, yeah, always has to run what I'm saying through a filter, basically, because, you know, I, f I really, people say that I appear normal, but I definitely do feel like I have, like, uh, yeah, I definitely have, like, spurred tendencies where if I don't, watch what I'm saying or run through a filter, I can say some things that are extremely off topic or weird, but yeah, I've mentioned this before, but anyways, because of that, um, talking to people is inherently stressful or takes effort for me. And uh, right now I just don't have the motivation to talk to people. And, um, you know, I do feel good talking to people sometimes, especially when I feel alone, but at times like now, um, I just, I don't know why, like, I'm, I, I apologize for being just, you know, maybe a shitty friend to some, some of the people on there that I'm talking to, or just, you know, I know that this is probably damaging to a lot of relationships that I've been in, because I've done this before, and a lot of, oh, a lot of my, uh, old, let me just attach this selfie stick quickly. that's better um a lot of like old friends have joked about me dying because i've literally disappeared for like one to two months at times like my old high school uh friends and um yeah they yeah so i disappear for one to two months and basically do this like vanishing act because i would just um find it hard to know talk to them and um obviously um in any like friend group there is going to be some like joking around and shit talking but at the state of mind that i'm in right now if i were to engage in that i'd probably just take it way too seriously or it would just make me feel way shittier than i have to because it's kind of like how i feel like stress is like multiplicative i guess where when you're in a shitty state of mind something that might be insignificant might end up way worse than it actually is so or it might have feel way worse than it actually is so i just yeah i don't want to end up doing anything stupid like flipping out or um 
you know, or just, you know, if, if I don't act out, then I just feel worse and, you know, have to, you know, pretend to be engaged and talk to people when I actually feel depressed and I don't feel like talking. So I, please don't take it personally. Uh, I just, um, you know, not in a very great place right now. So yeah, just dealing with, yeah, back pain and shit. And um, yeah, I think the reason back pain gets to me so much is because it's one of those things where like, if you've never gone through it, um, I think it definitely causes a lot more anxiety than other types of injuries because um, it's like, it's your back, right? It's your spine. It's like the most important part of your body. So when you do feel pain there, when you do feel uncomfortable, it definitely is a lot more unsettling than, you know, just like a wrist sprain um, or like, you know, shoulder pain or shoulder tension stuff like that so yeah just it's like when you talk to people people about it like for example like parents or like doctors like nobody believes you and everybody thinks you're blowing out of proportion or you can kind of feel the skepticism like people you can kind of tell that people don't actually believe you when you say that you're in like massive pain or you know maybe it, it is kind of blown out proportion slightly but i have no clue like it definitely doesn't feel very good and you know nobody especially when nobody takes you seriously about about like you know pain in your back and it's feel like it's something that probably people with like whiplash or like you know other back injuries can relate to back and neck injuries are probably the worst type of pain that you can go through and, you know, but at the same time, mo nobody actually realizes how bad it is until they actually go through it themselves. So, yeah, uh, you know, RIP to back pain sufferers, I guess. And, you know, um, I guess this also kind of brings me to this point where this, reali this realization that, that I came to a while back, I guess, but it's kind of reminding me that you know, your health is really the most important thing in this world, world, especially your physical health. Like, at least for me, like, cause you know, maybe we all have different, you know, we're all susceptible to different things. Like some people are susceptible to their thoughts and emotions. Some people are, you know, I guess like the, the whole like incel community, you know, can't deal with not having a girlfriend or not having any int intimacy, you know, other people, for other people, it's not having any friends in real life for others. It's not having any money to spend, but you know, for me specifically, it's my, it's just physical pain that I really can't cope with, you know, that I'm really susceptible to. And, um, you know, um, I feel like, if anything's gonna make me rope in this world, it's chronic physical pain and especially back pain, like, cause it's so debilitating and it stops me from doing a lot of the things like that I cope, you know, that I used to cope with life. Like, um, you know, all the self improvement stuff, I do realize that it's inherently a cope, but I choose to cope with it because I feel like at least to me, it feels meaningful, like the MMA stuff and, you know, playing guitar and all that stuff and making music. And, you know, it's hard to do that stuff when I can't even sit in a chair because my lower back is aching and, you know, it gets worse. And I feel these like sharp, you know, I don't know, weird fucking, it's just weird pain. It feels like, I don't know if like this is the right term, but it's like grimy. It feels like it's this weird, disgusting sort of aching. Like you can feel like, muscle like scrunching like bone kind of like and ligaments sort of like scrunching up against each other it's just that type of pain where you know like your body's fucked and that's why i'm fucking depressed right now is because i feel like i don't have any control over that pain and um yeah it's just not a very good feeling um so yeah that's just my current state of mind and where i'm at so um yeah this is a, I don't want to make this child too depressing. Um, 
I'm gonna try and upload a comfy cuisine video pretty soon. But anyways, um, yeah, this is uh, just the current state of my life. Um, anyways, this is, and yeah, just like an explanation of why, and I guess apology for why I haven't been, you know, keeping in contact with people and stuff like that. But anyways, this is a uh, company signing out. <laughs> yeah, peace.